what was it like being, well, you are essentially an in-betweeners newbie. You must have been a fan of the show before. Absolutely. I was a huge fan of the show, really, really loved the film. And uh, when I heard they were making a new one, I was excited just as a fan. So it's, I can't even believe now that I was in it and I'm about to see it. Are you able to tell us sort of, you know, who you are the object of affection for this time around? Who? You'll have to watch it. Um, but I am somebody's object of affection. And uh, needless to say, it's all very embarrassing and doesn't go to plan. <laughs> very in between us then. Very, yeah. I mean, it would be a bit of a shame if in the first scene one of them met a girl and was like, I met this great girl and everything's for good. That's it. Now, you've obviously been popping up on our screens a lot recently. We've had 24, Anna, obviously outnumbered, and the White Queen. That's what right. is it about UK television that you think is just so, so great and sets us apart? Because you've done quite a lot and you're doing, you're everywhere, Emily. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm a big fan of, of British independent comedies like Outnumbered, like The Inbetweeners, um, British TV, even though 24 is American, we shot yeah, it in yeah. London. I just think, um, I don't know, I just think we know how to do it here. I think there's a lot of very talented people here that really care about telling brilliant stories uh, in a really interesting way. And I think also, there's, you know, they don't always have loads of money to chuck around, so what they have, they have to really make it worth something. And I, I felt that with this, and I felt it with the other things I've done, that, you know, people care. And finally, uh, we had Laura Haddock and Theo James in the last film, and they've obviously gone off to big intergalactic adventures. Yeah. Now, say that was to happen to you as well, is there sort of like a superhero you'd like to get your teeth into? Oh, a superhero? I mean, I'm wearing kind of superhero shoes right now, so maybe it would have to be some kind of... So any, basically, any, any superhero that could wear shoes that look a bit like butterflies. Maybe I could sort of fly with my feet. Okay. <laughs> butterfly girl, I don't think exists, but... Butterfly girl needs to be written. You can make one. I think, yeah. We'll I talk agree. to Marvel. I, there must be some producers around here somewhere that can make that happen. We'll have a chat. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Emily.